महाप्रभु ब्रॉट दिस हरिनाम संकीर्तन टू दिस मेटेरियल वर्ल्ड संकीर्तनिक पितर सेट संकीर्तनिक पितर इज फादर ऑफ संकीर्तन मूवमेंट आई वॉज टेलिंग यू स्टॉट ए इवनिंग हाउ महाप्रभु श्रीमन महाप्रभु इज सो मर्सी फॉर ही इज नॉन डिफरेंट फ्रॉम कृष्ण वी आर रीडिंग दैट वर्स द लास्ट वर्स टेक्स्ट ट्वेंटी नाइन्थ ऑफ फिफ्थ चैप्टर भगवदगीता भुक्तारम जगंत पशांग सर्वलोक महेश्वर श्रृहदंग सर्वभूता ज्ञानता शांति रुच्छति इज एंड इट लास्ट इवनिंग वी आर रीडिंग I was telling how Krishna says, "I am the only well-wishing friend, Shruhudam." I explained this point yesterday. Only this point: how he is our Shruhudam, how he is our only well-wishing friend. No else is there. Is there anybody else? Is our well-wishing friend? Huh? Is there anybody else? One may say, "Yes, I have many good friends, many good friends. They are very intimate to me. They are always ready to do some good to me. They are very, very intimate. They are all my good friends, isn't it? Oh, why Krishna will be the only well-wishing friend?" You understand why? I don't know Krishna. Where is he? Has anybody seen him? Huh? Has anybody seen him? You only say, "Oh, Swami Ji." You only say, "Have you seen him?" He asked, "Have you seen him?" If I say yes, I have seen him. Can you show me? Can you show me? Then I'll believe. Singh is believing. This is your motto. Singh is believing. If I see with my own eyes, then I can believe. No, otherwise no, isn't it? No, this is uh, general. Why some people? Very few. Very very few. Those who are real devotees, you understand? Those who have really developed that vision, Premananda. प्रेमांजन छुरी तो भक्ति विलोचन ही ना दैट आई सेड ओनली दे कैन सी एंड हाउ मेनी आर दे हैव यू एनी स्टैटिस्टिक्स विद यू नो बाबा नो वेरी फ्यू वेरी फ्यू हियर आई स्पीक ऑफ दिस मेटेरियल वर्ल्ड नथिंग ऑफ दी स्पिरिचुअल वर्ल्ड No, the speaker Krishna gave this instruction of Bhagavad Gita to the conditioned souls, isn't it? For these people of this material world, not for that people. Very few, those who are really very dear devotees, those who really develop that vision, premanjana, surito bhakti vilochani na, as Prahlad Maharaj saw. The stone pillar, 
But as a demoniac father couldn't say, isn't it? Because he has really got it, that visa. And such devotees, such people, very, very rare, very rare. You will, if you take the statistics you file, you'll find it's 0.1%. 0.1%. So, so, meager, you see. Because all have got this metal visa. Metal visa, metal body and metal visa. With the spiritual visa. It's not an easy thing to get the spiritual visa. So, the big, big leaders, so-called big leaders, the political leaders, they say, has anybody seen Krishna, the Supreme Lord. I am such a big leader. I have not seen. Has anybody seen? They say it. Yes, we face so many people. You understand? Swamiji, you speak about Krishna. Have you seen? Yes, yes, I have seen. Don't say no. Same particle, yes, I have seen. You have seen? Can you show me? I say, all right. If I show you, can, can you see him? Please tell me. Can you see him? Have you real vision to see him? You understand? In this uh, connection, I just recollect. Hmm. I was a teacher previously. I was teaching English. You understand? <laughs> teaching English. You understand? So there was a poem named Blind Boy, Blind Boy, English poem. I was teaching to my students. At that time, I was thinking of what I am teaching, what I am teaching. The sum and substance of the poem is that there was a blind boy who was born blind. From very birth, he was blind. You understand? He has never seen sun, you know, just from birth, very birth, he was blind. You understand? Those who have eyes, they see some. You understand? Now there is no sun, it's night, it's all dark. When there will be dawn, night will go, sun will arise, bright sunshine will come, then it is day. Those who see, those who have these eyes, to see sun, they say, oh, the night is gone now, darkness gone, there's bright sunshine everywhere, sun has arisen. Get up, get up, get up, they say. The blind boy was hearing this thing. Do you understand? He was thinking, what? They are saying, sun has arisen, night is gone, and day has come, bright day. Wow, I don't see sun. What is that? They, what is that sun? That makes their day and night. I make my own day and night. I don't see sun. I make my own day and night. When I sleep, that's my night. When I awake, that's my day. <laughs> How is it that the sun makes their day and night? He says, oh, gentlemen, don't disturb me. Don't disturb my peace. Saying sun and sun, stop your mouth. Do you understand what I say? Do you follow? You can't follow me? <laughs> Are you not attentive? <laughs> the blind boy was saying, those who are speaking about son, hey, you gentlemen, don't speak about son. I make my own day and night. When I sleep, that's my night. When I wake up, that's my day. What is that, son? That makes your day and night. Don't disturb my peace. Don't speak about son. You understand? He says like that. But he doesn't admit that he is a blind boy. He has no reason to see son. It doesn't mean that there is no son. You can't see son. Therefore, that doesn't mean that there is no son. Those who have vision, they see sun. Why don't you accept it? You understand? Similarly, 
those are vision, proper vision. They say the Supreme Lord, Krishna, as Prahlad Maharaj saw, isn't it? Yesterday, I was telling you, this the Krishna said that thing. Bhakta ma bandhya che hrudeo vitore, jahan jahan netra pade, tahan Krishna spure. He says, yeah, Brahma Sangita says, Pramanjana Charita Bhakti Vilo Charena Santa Sadeva Hrudesu Vilo Kayanti Jasyama Sundaranga Chintya Guna Surupam Govindam Adi Purusam Tamam Bajami. Isn't it? You chant, you know it. Those who have developed this vision, Pramanjana Charita Bhakti Vilo Charena, they see that Shyam Sundar all beautiful form of Krishna within and without. Wherever they look, they see Krishna. Oh, is there? Bhakta ma bandhya che hrudeya bhitare jahan jahan netra pade tahan krishna spray. Wherever he looks, he sees me. Do you understand? I see him and he sees me. Krishna says, one who is not a dear devotee, one who has not developed such vision, how can he see? Do you understand? And if I show you, Krishna, you have no vision, you are blind in that respect. And the blind boy cannot see the sun. So how can you see? If I show you, first develop vision. First develop vision. To see Krishna. Then you can see. You understand? That we say. And one who is really very inquisitive, very eager, oh, oh, yes, yes, I am blind, blind. Uh, how can I get that vision? How can I get that vision and see Krishna? If he's really eager, then there is a way. Suppose a blind boy, but doctor is there who does operation, you understand? Then he can get back his eye, some also, you understand? When that, his eye will be opened, then he can see sun. Oh, yes, now sun is here. Isn't it? Similarly, in this spiritual path, doctor is there. Isn't it? No doctor. Who will open eye? Agyana timirandhasya jnana jnana salakaya chakhyar melitam jena tasme sri guravena. This doctor. Isn't it? Who opens this eye? With Gyananjana Swalaka. Through it, I can see Krishna. Chakhyudana Dila Jai Janme Janme Prabhu Sai. Isn't it? Don't you recite it? Guru Vastaka. Guru Puja. Don't you recite? Huh? Chakhyudana Dila Jai Janme Janme Prabhu Sai. One has Give me this chakyu, chakyu means this eye. Isn't it Narada Muni? Huh? Through which I can see the Lord. Life after life, He is my master. He is my spiritual master. Beloved master, isn't it? Chakyu dhāna dilāja hi janme janme prahu He is the doctor. Do you understand? He is the doctor sitting there. You see the doctor sitting. Do you understand? So approach him, he'll make a person, he'll open the eye, then you can see. Without that, how can you see, Lord, Supreme Lord? If I saw you, you are blind. Do you understand? So if somebody, someone, asks you, have you seen, Lord, Krishna? Oh, yes, same particle, yes, I have seen. Can you show me? Yes, I can show you, but you have no vision. You are blind. How can I show you? If I show, you can see. First have the vision. You understand? Then, will give me vision? A hospital is there. You understand? Where is the hospital? Oh, we have hospital here. In this... Uh, what is this? New Govardhan. A hospital is here. Doctor is there. Come here. The doctor will make operation and open your eye. Then you can see. Unless... You get the eye, how can you see? And if I show you, how can you see? You understand? 
And Lord said, no, I have not seen, no, I have seen. <coughs> and you are blind and you should first get the vision, proper vision. And doctor is approach the vision, doctor. Do you understand? You should answer in this way. Do you understand? And say it emphatically, with much force. No Narsa. No Narsa Muni. Say it in much force, emphatically. Defeat them. Do you understand? Don't be afraid. <laughs> Don't be afraid. Do you understand? Because those who have taken complete shelter at the lotus feet of Krishna, they are fearless. They are fearless. They are never afraid of any situation. Avaya asoka, avaya amrutera, tha tomar charan doya, O Krishna. Your lotus feet is such a place where there is no lamentation, no fear, no death. No death. If someone takes shelter at such lotus feet, he is free from all fear, free from all lamentation, and he will be also deathless. You understand? Such is it. And this is a question of unflinching faith, strong faith. Sadha, Druda Sadha, strong faith. First day, just all day, evening, I told you this thing. This requires this question of only unflinching faith, nothing else, nothing else. If you can develop such unflinching faith in Krishna, in the words of Krishna, in the words of Mahajanas, that means their devotees of Krishna, Acharyas, you can develop it very easily. If you have no faith, if some doubt, Shonsoya Atma Vinasyati, you will be perished. Krishna said, you understand? And I am going to say that we are every day chanting this Hare Krishna Mahamantra. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, 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 Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, 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 Hare Hare. Every day chanting. This Harinam Sankirtan. Goloke Premadhana Harinam Sankirtan. Ratina Hoilo Keno Thai. Isn't it? Do you know this song, Nardam? Written by Nardam Das Thakur. You understand? Golakyar Premadhana Harinam Sankirtana Rotina Hoilo Kene Tai. This Harinam Sankirtana is not an affair of this material world, Baba. It's Golakyar Premadhana. Do you understand me? Golak Vrindavan, the eternal abode of Krishna, Radha and Krishna. Do you understand? It's Golakyar Premadhana Harinam Sankirtana. This Harinam Sankirtana has brought from Golak Vrindavan by Sriman Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. You understand? By Sriman Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. He brought here. Sankirtani Kapitaru is known as the father of Sankirtana Jagya. Because he is very merciful to us. Krishna says, I am Sruhudam Sravhutanam. I am the only well-wishing friend of yours. And that Krishna came as Sriman Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. How he came? I was telling you a story. And that Krishna is more merciful. That Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is more merciful, though he is not different from Krishna. He is more merciful than Krishna. Because Krishna didn't give you. Krishna never gives this frame. He never gives. Do you understand? He never gives. It. Neither of his incarnations give. Only when he comes as Gaura. He gives. You understand? This prema dhano, this is wealth, invaluable wealth. You cannot calculate, evaluate it. How valuable it is. And it is locked up in many. One big chest, inside another chest, inside another chest, inside another chest, then inside another chest. So many chests are locked up and sealed. So carefully kept. Do you understand? This Premadhana, invaluable. Do you understand me? 
ట్రై టు అండర్స్టాండ్ మహాప్రభు విన గివ్ అండ్ పవర్ ఆఫ్ అండర్స్టాండింగ్ యూ అండర్స్టాండ్ బట్ ఫెన్ మహాప్రభు కే అండ్ హీ ఎక్స్పాండెడ్ హిమ్సెల్ఫ్ ఇన్ అస్ పోంచ తత్వ శ్రీకృష్ణ చైతన్యం ప్రభు నిత్యానందో శ్రీయుద్ధితో గోదాధరో శ్రీవాసాది భక్త బృంద స్పోంచ తత్వ ఇదండి యూ నో ఇట్ దే ఆల్ కేమ్ దే ఆర్ వెరీ వెరీ మార్సిఫుల్ వెరీ మ్యూనిఫిసెంట్ ది బ్రోక్ ఓపన్ ఆల్ ది చెస్ బ్రోక్ ఓపన్ జస్ట్ బ్రోక్ ఓపన్ యూ అండర్స్టాండ్ అండ్ drought that in valuable wealth prem dhana and distributed it freely padita pamara nahi vaache without discrimination they distributed it mahaprabhu is so merciful he brought this golakar prem dhana hari naam sankirtana he brought here for us you understand and you should understand this is very subtle tattva very confidential tattva the naam tattva Have you ever heard it, Narada Muni? You have heard it. Huh? You, uh, what I am saying, you have heard it, isn't it? Huh? And Mahaprabhu brought it from Golak Vrindavan, isn't it? Huh? And Mahaprabhu is Krishna himself, but Radha Bhava is predominating, isn't it? He never says, I am Krishna. If somebody says Krishna, many sastric proofs evidences are there how mahaprabhu is the krishna himself many those who know the sastric evidence they say krishna here krishna when they say he does blocks his ears no 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 i i am not supreme lord krishna stu bhagavan swayam krishna is bhagavan he is krishna himself but he says krishna stu bhagavan swayam కృష్ణ ఇది భగవాన్ వర్ యూ గోపి భర్తృ పాత కమలయర్ దాస దాసాను 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 దాస ఈ సెజ్ లైక్ దాట్ హ్యావ్ హర్ దిస్ థింగ్ ఎస్ మహాప్రభు సెజ్ మా టీచర్స్ ఐ ఆమ్ ది సర్వెంట్ అండ్ ది సర్వెంట్ ఆఫ్ ది సర్వెంట్ ఆఫ్ ది సర్వెంట్ ఆఫ్ ది గోపి భర్తృ ఆఫ్ ది హస్బెండ్ ఆఫ్ ది గోపీస్ దాట్ మీన్ కృష్ణ ఐఎమ్ నాట్ కృష్ణ జై కృష్ణ సర్ Do you understand? Because by practically demonstrating, practically observing in his life, he teaches us how to do this bhajan, how to surrender completely unto the holy name. Do you understand? Unto the holy name. Because of hinnat pang nama nami no, there is no difference between nama and nami. Do you understand? Nama and Nami? I don't know. Nama means the holy name of Krishna. Nami means Krishna himself. Do you understand? So there is no difference between the holy name of Krishna and Krishna himself. Is there any difference? No. No difference. Abhinnatva Nama Nami. Especially in this Kali Yuga, Krishna has incarnated himself as his holy name no other incarnation is there in kali yuga is there any incarnation no kali kale nama rupe krishna avatar nama hoyte hoy sarva jagat nistar nama vina kali kale nahi aro dharma sarva mantra saro nama ei shastra marma you understand you understand what i say ha eh? kali kale nama rupe krishna avatar in this kali yuga krishna has advanced himself in the form of holy name do you understand nama hoyte hoy sarva jagat nistar only through chanting this holy name of krishna the whole world will be delivered if whole world will chant do you understand nama vina kali kale nahi aro dharma No other dharma is there in Kali Yuga. Only chanting. Harer nama, harer nama, harer nama, eva kevalam, kalo naste eva, naste eva, naste eva, gati rannatha. Isn't it? Upanishad says, you know it. 
नौजर हुए नौजर हुए नौजर हुए हरे नाम ही वह केवल ओनली टेकिंग सेंटर हरि नाम चैंटिंग हरि नाम धर्म अब कलि जुग कलि जुग धर्म हो नाम संकीर्तन एतदर्थे अवतीर्ण श्री सजीन नाना इजेंट इट कलि जुग धर्म हो नाम संकीर्तन एतदर्थे अवतीर्ण श्री सचिन सन अफ सची माता गौरांग महाप्रभु ही केम फर दैट पर्पज टू इंट्रोड्यूस दिस हरिनाम संकीर्तन एंड थ्रू चैटिंग दिस होली नेम ही गिव्स प्रेम डेंस्टैंड नो अदर धर्म इज देयर इन कलि जुग एक्सेप्ट दिस एंड ही ब्राउट That holy name from Golak Vrindavan. You understand? So this is most important point here. Those who are conditioned souls, they chant, isn't it? Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram. Hare, Hare. By chanting under the guidance of a bona fide spiritual master, and very easily you can be delivered. You understand? Very easily. This is gauna phala. You say, what do you say? Mukhya and gauna. Cheap mukhya means cheap and secondary gauna. You understand? This is the cheap result of chanting. They say, Hari Nam is to get prem. Mukhya pathe jiva paay Krishna prema dhana. You understand? This is mukhya patha, cheap result. If you chant offensively, Hari Nam, you'll get prem, love of Krishna. Thereby, Krishna will be bound up. You can be able to bind up Krishna thereby, and Krishna will never leave you. Though Krishna is omniscient, all powerful, almighty, still he is incapable. Of breaking the bondage of love, you understand? Incapable of breaking that bondage of love, the bondage of love is so strong. Krishna is incapable. Can you break it, Narada Muni? Huh? But you are all breaking. You are all breaking. This is the only bondage. It's pure love. You understand? This love relationship is there between Krishna and ourselves, isn't it? It's only one relationship, and also his bona fide representative, Krishna's bona fide representative, the spiritual master Guru, who gives this name, isn't it? And the relationship with this. That guru is also the relationship based on love, pure love. Do you understand? And it's eternal relationship, and very strong. This cannot be broken at all. But we are so rascal. We break it. We are such offenders, isn't it? We are such offenders. We are such rascals. We break it. Whereas Krishna cannot break. So powerful and mighty, but we are such rascals, isn't it? Am I wrong? Yeah, this is going on. This is such a state of affairs. So my point is, a conditioned soul chants, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare. That means so oh, Hara, Radharani. The name of Radharani is Hara. You understand? So oh, Radharani, the oh, energy, energy of the Supreme Lord. You understand? Antaranga Shakti, internal energy. Supreme Lord Radharani and Krishna, O oh, Krishna, energetic. Krishna is energetic. Radharani is internal energy. This is a prayer only. Or Radharani or Krishna, and Hare Ram. That I am also. I was also telling you, 
Here Ram means what? Krishna. Ram means Krishna. Do you understand? You can have three Rams in the incarnations of the Lord. One is Balaram Ram, another is Dasrathi Ram, the son of Dasrath, came in Tretajuga, isn't it? Another is Parsuram Ram, son of Jamdagni, isn't it? In this incarnation you'll get three Rams. But in this Hare Krishna Mahamata, the Ram is neither Dasrathi Ram nor Jamdagni Ram. Do you understand? Do you understand? Is the Krishna himself. If Hara is Radharani, then Hare Ram means what? Krishna. Why Krishna is known as Ram? Yeah? You also sing this song, Hari Haraya Nama Krishna, Jadavaya Nama. Then Gobinda Gopala Rama Sri Madhusudan. What is the Ram? Krishna, isn't it? Krishna. Because Ramayati iti Ram. Ramayati iti Ram. One who enjoys Radha is known as Radha Raman. Isn't it? Radha Raman enjoys Radha Rani. He is Ram. Who is he? He is Krishna. You understand? So the Ram is Krishna here. No else. That this is for a conditioned soul. Radharani or Krishna, please engage me in your service. It's only prayer, this prayer. You understand? And Mahaprabhu has taught her that thing in his Sikhyashtaka. Ai Nanda Tanuja Kinkarang Patitamma Bisami Bhavam Budau. Krupaya tava pada pankada sthita dhuli sadru sabi jinta yo. You chant every day, Sikhyastaka, isn't it? Yes. Huh? In the, In the morning? Yes. And we put that up to now. Yes. You chant. Ai nanda tanja kinkarang patitamma visami bhavam budau. Krupaya tava pada pankada sthita dhuli sadru sabi jinta yo. Isn't it? O nanda tanja. O son of Nanda Maharaj, I am your king Kara. I am your servant. Huh? King Karam, Patitamma, Bishwami, Bhavambudu. Anyhow, I have been dropped down here in this uh, dreadful material ocean. Isn't it? Patitamma, Bishwami, Bhavambudu. Krupaya, Tavapada, Pankada, Sthita, Dhuli, Sadhguru, Sabhijinda. Please, how are your mercy on me? And just accept me as a speck of dust. Ah, dear Lord of Spirit, isn't it? Huh? Isn't it? You every day chant this. Sikhyashtaka. This is the meaning. We are always praying. Radha and Krishna just accept me as a speck of dust at the Lord of Spirit. This is a conditioned soul praise. But this Harinam Sankirtan. I told you, Mahaprabhu brought some Golak Vrindavan. This is not an affair of this material world, isn't it? So, are there conditioned souls in Golak Vrindavan? No. They are very intimate associate of Krishna. Like Radharani, all gopis, they are also chant. This Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, 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 Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama, Rama. They also chant. All the gopis chant under the guidance of Radharani. Do you understand? This Hare Krishna mantra. When they feel the pangs of separation from Krishna, do you understand? You'll find the description given uh, in Srimad Bhagavatam, 10th canto, where there is given the description of Ras Krida. You understand? Ras Lila in 10th canto, Srimad Bhagavatam. Five chapters are there. It's known as Ras Panchadhyaya. Ras Panchadhyaya. Only five chapters are there. 
It gives some description about Rasa Leela. You can understand. And Krishna was dancing, Krishna dances with the gopis, and Radha and Krishna in the middle, they, there is a circle, you understand, and Krishna expands himself, and there are innumerable gopis, and as Krishna expands himself in innumerable forms, and with every gopi Krishna is there and dancing. You understand? We cannot think it up. We are so conditioned souls. Mm. But sometimes Krishna disappears, disappears from the last dance. You understand? So all the gopis, Radharani and gopis, they feel the pangs of separation from Krishna. You understand? They feel the pangs of separation from Krishna. So they search out, where is Krishna, where is Krishna, where is Krishna? They ask every tree in Vrindavan, every creeper in Vrindavan, every animal in Vrindavan, you see, the tigers, the deer, the lions, Mahaprabhu is dancing, making them dance, you see, chanting Hare Krishna. They are asking, where is Krishna, where is Krishna, where is Krishna? Thanks of separation. When that thanks of separation very intense to mitigate, to mitigate that separation, that grief, what did they, what do they do, do you know? They chant this, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, 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 Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, 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 Hare Rama. They chant it. They understand? That name Mahaprabhu gave. Brought it here. Golokair Premanano Hrinam Sankirtana Radina Zanmilo Kenatai. You understand? Then what does it mean? We condition souls. We pray to Radharani and Krishna. Or Hara or Radharani or Krishna. But what do they pray? Radharani himself is chanting. What does it mean? Do you know it? You know? Narada Muni? Huh? No. Hara means Radharani. They also say Hare. What is that? What does it mean? Huh? We say Radharani and Krishna. Conditioned souls. What do they say? By uttering Hare. Radharani herself chants. What does it mean? You know? You don't know? Have you never heard? From someone, Narada Muni, Narada Muni Bajaya Bhina, Radhika Ramana Nami. <laughs> you have no Bhina. <laughs> you see, it has. This means, this Hare Krishna Mahamantra is chanted everywhere. In this material world, by conditioned souls and with the liberated souls, they also chant. In that place, Hare means, O oh Lord Hari. It doesn't mean, O oh, Hare, Radharani, Hara. Do you understand? In Sanskrit, the word Hara and Hari, in, when you address the same form, the address of Hara is Hare, address of Hari is also Hare. Do you understand? This is Sanskrit grammar. Do you know Sanskrit? Should know. Should know. Do you understand? The hara in Sanskrit, in address, sambodhana pada, we say sambodhana pada, in address becomes hare. And hari also in address becomes hare. Do you understand? So they address oh hari, oh Krishna, oh Ram. Do you understand? In tenth canto, Srimad Bhagavatam also you find. Hmm? Tapta Jivanam Tapta Jivanam Kavi Bhiriditam Karma Sapaham Bhuvi Gnanti De 
Frida Jana. That verse is there. You understand? Tava Kathamrutam Tattva Jivanam Kavi Bhiridam Karma Sapaham Bhavi Gunanti De Frida Jana. Famous verse. Have you not heard this? Narada Muni? Oh, famous verse. Raja, King Prataprutra uttered this verse when he met Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. You understand? First he was refused. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, no, 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 no. I won't give him darshan. He's king. King means he's running after money and women. I am sannyasi. You understand? I am sannyasi. How can I give him darshan? King. My sannyas dharma will be broken. I won't give it. Do you understand? He refused. Raya Ramananda, Sarvam Bhattacharya, all his dear devotees of Sriman Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, they requested him. They requested him. Please give me, give him darshan of Mahaprabhu. And Pratabhadra, King Pratabhadra says that he will commit suicide if you won't give him darshan. You understand? King Pratabhadra requested all the Vaishnavas there, all the dear devotees, Vaishnavas of Mahaprabhu, please shower your mercy on me that I will be able to meet Sriman Mahaprabhu. Vaishnavara Nivedani Krupa Krishna Dayamaya Mohana Pamar Prati Haiver Sadaya. Do you understand? Famous verse. You should know it. Get it by heart. Vaishnavara Nivedani Krishna Dayamaya Mohana Pamar Prati Haiver Sadaya. King Pradhar said like this. You all Vaishnavas, dear. Hollers, devotees of Sriman Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Please have your mercy on me. If I can get the mercy of these Vaishnavas, Krishna is so merciful, Krishna Dayama, I am a palmer. Do you understand? Palmer means most degraded. I am a palmer. Then I will be able to get the mercy of Krishna. He just requested all the Vaishnavas there. Do you understand? So, Mahaprabhu said, no, 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 I can't give him darshan. As king, the name of king, he spoiled everything. You understand? Mahaprabhu, I told you, Mahaprabhu was doing Acharya's leader. You understand? He came as an Acharya. First part, his twenty-four years, where his uh, sannyas life, out of twenty-four years, six years he preached, Atharya Lila, and then rest, eighteen years he didn't preach. He sat down, and that Gambhira is there. Have you seen Gambhira in Jagannath Puri, Kasi Mishra's house, very small room? He sat down there, eh? and with Rai Ramananda and Surabhadra Goswami, he was discussing this Radha Krishna Tattva. Do you understand? Always in ecstasy. So during his Atharya Leela, the first six years, while he was traveling North India, South India, preaching, hmm, he was very strictly following the rules and regulations. Do you understand? Vedic etiquette, Vedic rules and regulations, very strictly following. Because otherwise the Acharya will not follow how the disciple will follow. Do you understand? That's the motto of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Upon Acharya Dharma upare sikha. You first observe yourself in your life, then teach. Otherwise you have no right to teach. Do you understand? So he was doing very strictly. Very strictly. You know, Jagdananda Pandit, hmm, very dear devotee. Of Sriman Chaitra Mahaprabhu, he is from Gauda Desh, Bengal. He brought a very big pot 
of chandan tail very scented sandalwood oil do you understand very scented sandalwood oil he brought for mahaprabhu prepared himself and brought it to puri and gobinda was his servant isn't it the servant of mahaprabhu is gobinda you know is that yes he gave it to gobinda gobinda please take it take some oil and thus massage it rub it on the head of mahaprabhu and this will cool down cool mahaprabhu's brain yes then son because mahaprabhu was sometimes becoming mad sometimes penetrate sometimes falling in the sea do you understand sometimes like a tortoise sometimes very long like mad ecstasy so jagdananda pandit gave that oil to gobinda please take some oil and just rub it on head mahaprabhu this is cool down his brain is becoming mad do you understand yes <laughs> that oil scented oil so it was kept there in the room of mahaprabhu there in jagannath puri in gambhira do you understand mahaprabhu came and saw it and asked hmm, gobinda what is this gobinda oh, this is uh, chandan thala this uh, very scented sandalwood oil jagdananda pandit has brought it for you what jagdananda pandit wants me to become dari sanyasi do you understand me what i say ha huh? i am sanyasi if i rub this uh, put this scented chandan tail on my head then i'll attract the other sex then i'll become dari sanyasi does jagdananda pandit think that make me dari sanyasi tell him let him take back this i want to use tell him give it to the store house of lord jagannath it will burn in his lamp you understand it will burn in his lamp he didn't take he didn't take how strict he was you understand how strict you understand how strict was that this acharya so strict jagdananda pandit every day come comes and asked gobinda have you rubbed it gobinda have you rubbed it you say no mahaprabhu refused mahaprabhu said you take it back and give it to the store house of lord jagannath it will burn in jagannath's lamp he became so morous do you understand huh with such affection and love he had brought such affection and love he has brought it but mahaprabhu didn't touch it one day mahaprabhu was there jagdan pandit came and the pot was lying there sitting standing there do you know that mahaprabhu not never touching jagdan pandit was so grave he just lifted up the pot whole pot and threw it out outside broken into pieces all the whole oil perished and became so aggrieved he went back to his own room bolted the door inside lie down didn't take any food any water nothing you understand who know you know who is jagadananda pandit you know who is he yeah shiva satyabhama in krishna leela as wife krishna's wife do you understand yes so this sort of sulkiness is there is known as sulkiness wife sometimes become sulky if a husband tells to reciprocate her do you understand wife sometimes become sulky that's those are ghosts they can understand it i was a ghost also 
<laughs> I have that experience. <laughs> so, Jagdananda found it developed so sulkiness. <laughs> so, Mahaprabhu could understand it. And then it's Mahaprabhu's duty now to break it. That's husband's duty to break it. You understand? Then <laughs> Jadananda Pandit was not taking any food, not drinking water, just bolting the room inside sleeping. <laughs> so Mahaprabhu at last went there, just not that bit of Jagdananda! 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 I have come to accept Vikya from you. He became so glad. <laughs> Immediately opened the door. Oh, Mahaprabhu has come now. And he wants Bhikkha. That means he'll prepare nice dishes now for Mahaprabhu and feeding. <laughs> you understand? So, immediately he began to prepare very nice dishes, many items. You can count so many items he prepared. You understand? <laughs> and just uh, hmm, put a very big banana leaf there. And Mahaprabhu said, you put another banana leaf for yourself, because Jagadananda had not eaten. B- both of you will eat together. No, no, Mahaprabhu, first you eat, I must eat. So Mahaprabhu sat down, and he gave one after another. Many items he gave, and Mahaprabhu was eating. Mahaprabhu was a sannyasi. A sannyasi eats very little. Very little. <laughs> Do you understand? But Jagarananda is giving more and more. Please test this one. Please test this. this. Please test. Mahaprabhu was afraid. If I won't test, again, it will develop sulkiness. <laughs> Do you understand? <laughs> this is such a nice lead up. Simon Mahaprabhu. <laughs> then Mahaprabhu told Govinda. You please wait there and see if Jagadananda takes food. And just give me, intimate me. Then Jagadananda was happy now, he took food. So it's interesting, yeah. Mahaprabhu didn't give darshan to King Pratavrutta. So at last he agreed to give darshan to his son, young son, 10, 12 years old son. Thereby Mahaprabhu sent mercy to Pratavrutra. Do you understand? Yeah. Mahaprabhu gave his own Jogapat to that boy. Mm. So that boy went to his father. And father now got the mercy. So he put on, put on that Jogapat on his head like a turban. Do you understand? During time of Rathadatra, Mahaprabhu was dancing before Lord Jagannath with his devotees. There is, you, I don't know whether you have seen it or not, in the middle, Ratha stops. This is known as, what is that? Balagandi Udhyana. This is Balagandi Udhyana. Uh, the name of one garden is known as Balagandi Udhyana. Ratha stops. You understand? Some offering is made at that time. And Mahaprabhu takes rest in that garden. So at that time, King Pratavrudra, putting on that turban on his head, went to Mahaprabhu. Mahaprabhu was lying flat and uttering these verse, Tava kathamrutaṁ tapta jivanaṁ kavi bhiditaṁ kalma sāpaṁ sravana mangalaṁ kavi Bhuvi gunanti je bhuridājana. Just uttering this verse, he entered. Mahaprabhu said, Mahaprabhu was the next time, Bhurida, Bhurida, Bhurida. Mahaprabhu said, Bhurida means, speak again, speak again, speak again. That's Bhurida. Do you understand? This famous verse. In this way, Mahaprabhu gave him darshan. Do you understand? The meaning of the verse, O Krishna, your katha, nectarian katha, 
Your nectarian name is so nectarian and it gives solace to that afflicted heart. The gopis, the gopis, the Radharani, of us, those who are feeling such intense pangs of separation from you. You understand? It gives solace to our heart, afflicted heart. If someone hears this Krishna Katha, hears this chanting, and himself chants and speaks, his heart is also filled with ecstasy. It's cooled down. And one who gives this, gives this nectar to others, is such a munificent person. Nobody gives so much as he gives. Bhuridhādana. This is the meaning of the verse. You understand? This is Mataji's Lila. And Pradhavrudra, King Pradhavrudra uttered this verse and entered. And has messaged the feet of Mahaprabhu. In this way he got the darshan of Mahaprabhu. Such famous verse. You understand? Mahaprabhu was so straight. And Mahaprabhu is so merciful that he brought this Harinam Sankirtan from Golak Vrindavan for us. And this Nam Sankirtan is for both, both the conditioned souls and liberated souls. After liberation, this Sankirtan also continues, goes on. It's not a fact, now I am liberated, it's stopped. No, no. It continues. Because they are doing the same Nam Sankirtan. Radharani, all gopis under the guidance of Radharani. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, 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 they are soothing their hearts, afflicted, so severely afflicted, feeling the pangs of separation from Krishna. You see, this is such a nectar, Hare Rama, Hare Nam. I couldn't, please let me excuse, I couldn't read Bhagavad Gita today. I became so much inspired to tell you about Srimad Mahaprabhu. And you gave a patient hearing. Thank you very much. Any question? Yes? I had the case about a year ago, so I tried to understand, but devotee never heard such things, so please explain. Different uh, this uh, between Shyama Sundara and uh, Gaura Sundara, Sundara and uh, Gaur Govinda and Radha Govinda. So, <laughs> 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 this is a very confidential thing, most confidential tattva. You understand? Yes, Shyama Sundara may be there. Sam Sundar may be there. Radha Gobind may be there. If there is no Gaura Sundar or Gaura Gobind, I won't give, go there. I won't go there. You understand? What does it mean? In the temple, there is Sam Sundar. Radha Gobind. But if there is no Gaura Sundar or Gaur Gobind, I won't go there. Understand? What does it mean? It's very confidential. Shyam Sundar means Shyam means black or bluish. Do you understand? Krishna is bluish, Shyam Sundar. Hmm? But that Krishna, when came as Gauranga, is yellow. Yellow is color. Do you understand? Eh? Krishna Varnam Tuisha Krishna Sango Pangastra Parsadam. Jagyai Sankirtana Prairihi Jajanti Hi Sumedhaza. Isn't it? In the Srimad Bhagavatam, about Gauranga Mahaprabhu. Yeah? It's Krishna himself, but he has put Krishna Varna, the black, inside. And outside, a Krishna Varna. Do you understand? Hello. Tapta Kanchana Gauranga. It's Radha's. Srimati Radharani's complexion. 
राधा भाव ज्योमिंग राधा भाव सेंटिमेंट्स ऑफ राधा रानी एंड कॉम्प्लेक्स ऑफ राधा रानी ही के ट Krishna plays that flute in the jungle of Vrindavan. Gopis at midnight, leaving their husband, their family, their children, everything they used to run there at midnight. Do you understand? To Krishna. Do you understand? This is their pure love to us. Hmm. Nice verses are there. In tenth canto, Simad Bhagavatam, you will find it. I am not going to tell you all these things. Many ladies are there; they will feel embarrassed. I am not going to tell that thing. <laughs> It's very nice. Someday I may speak. <laughs> not now. <laughs> And summary, I am going to tell you because we are going to nine. <laughs> so, Krishna said, "Oh, gopis." Your love is so pure, so intense for me that you give up your husbands, your family members, children, home, everything, and came running to me this midnight. I am very much indebted to you, indebted to you for your pure love. I have no wealth to repay this love. I have no wealth at all, though he is. That nobody is such wealthy as Krishna, uh -huh. but he said, "I have no wealth to repay this debt. I am very much indebted." He became indebted. Do you understand? It's Krishna, Siam Sundar. So he thought of how to repay. So he became Gaura Sundar to repay the debt of the gopis. So Gopi Bhav, assuming the sentiment of Gopis and Radharani, he came, and as Gopis and Radharani were crying for Krishna, he was crying. Do you understand? He was crying. Ko Nanda Kula Chandra Ma Ko Mandra Murali Rava. Do you understand? As Gopis, as Radharani was crying, feeling the pangs of separation from Krishna. Sing his her dear girl companions, Sakhi, Lalita Sakhi and Pisaka Sakhi. Radhani was crying. Where is that son of Nanda Maharaj? Where is that Krishna who plays so nicely this flute, Mandra Murali Rama? Who can help me to meet him? कहां गले कहां पाऊ ब्रजेंद्र नंदन क्या मुते भेट आईव महाप्रभु क्राइंग सिमिलरली स्वरूप दामदर गो स्वामी एंड राय रामानंद देवर ललिता सखी एंड विशाखा सखी इन कृष्ण लीला डू अंडरस्टैंड महाप्रभु क्राइंग सेइंग द सेम थिंग हर इज कृष्ण हर इज द सन ऑफ नंद महाराज हर इज दैट कृष्ण प्ले सो स्ट्रेटली द फ्लोट Like this, that means he's repaying the debt. You understand? And in Krishna Lila, therefore, we say it is not complete. It's incomplete. It's like unripe mango, green mango. The green mango is unripe. When it becomes ripened, it becomes yellow, very sweet, tasty. You understand? The color changes. So Siam Sundar means is bluish, unripe mango, because the mellow is not ripened. Mellow is not ripened. When that Krishna came as Gaura Sundar, is ripened. Hello, mellow is all ripened. So this is complete. Gaura Lila is complete and very tasty. 
very nectarian. It's completely ripe. And Sham Sundar is unripe. Therefore, we say, if there may be Sham Sundar, Radha Govind, if there is no Gaura Sundar, Gaura Govind, I won't go there. Because mellow is unripe. I don't want unripe mellow, I want ripe mellow. Do you understand? So you'll see in all Vaishnava, those who are followers of Sriman Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Gaudiya Vaishnavas, in all Vaishnava temples you'll see there must be this Gaura Sundar. Must be there. Along with Radha Sam Sundar. Along with it. Not without it. That is our Vaishnava philosophy. Do you understand? Thank you. Yes? You said that um, in the spiritual world, the, uh, the gopis chant Hare Krishna and they mean Hare. Oh, Hare. Oh, Lord, Hare. So how is it if they're serving Krishna under the guidance of Srimati Radharani, how, how can they be so ungrateful as to forget Radharani and then only remember Krishna? No, this is Sanskrit. But they're not scholars. No. Scholars. no. How, how is it that they can actually forget, Rad, reject Radharani in a sense? You see, I tell you, these two words, Hara and Hari. Hara means Radharani. Do you understand? Hari means Lord Hari. And in address, Hara is Hare, Hari is also Hare. Do you understand? But we conditioned souls, we must approach Lord through His internal energy, through Radharani. Otherwise, you cannot approach Krishna. The gopis don't have to? Huh? The gopis don't have to? What do you say? The gopis do not have to, you're saying? Gopis are not conditioned souls. They can directly approach Krishna. Yes, yeah, they can directly approach. Between Krishna and Radharani, they can go. Yes, yeah, they can ap- directly approach. Because they are internal potencies, but we are conditioned souls. We cannot approach directly. Therefore, we must pa- pray the mercy of Radharani. Do you understand? If we get the mercy of Radharani, then we can approach Krishna. Otherwise not. Radhar Krishna. Govinda Saravasva. In Radha Tattva you will find all these things. Govinda Saravasva. Which Shastra is that? It's in Goswami Shastra. Written by Goswamis. You will never find anywhere. It's very confidential Tattva. So Radha Tattva is never discussed in publicly. No, there, nobody can understand it. In Srimad Bhagavatam never find the name of Radha. Never find. You understand? Anaha. The only Sukadev Goswami said, Anaya Radhita Itu Radha. One who does very extraordinary worship, uh, uh, Radhita worship, is Radha. Only he speaks this much, and then nothing more. Chadina or Samajana, that which is connected to Krishna is more worshipable. So isn't Shumati Radharani always, in a sense, even more worshipable than Krishna? Can we ever forget Radharani and just go directly to Krishna? You cannot directly approach Krishna. No. You will approach Krishna through Radharani at those who are in that bhav, like Sriman Mahaprabhu and those who come under his disciplic succession, they have developed Radha bhav, the Gaudiya Vaishnavas. So it's through such acharya you can approach, otherwise non direct. No. No. Yes? Uh, maybe you could help me <coughs> understand you pointing out that uh, Krishna. Person Krishna and his name, they're not different. From Krishna is not Krishna different himself, from yes. his name. Yes. He, it comes in the form of his name. Yes. So in Kali Yuga. Yeah. That uh, there's no difference between name of Krishna name and Krishna himself. Or, or even Paramahansa. Yes, yes. Nama Rupa. And, and the deity part of Krishna. Also. Nama Rupa Vigraha Tino Chidananda Vaya Tine Vedana. So, from my vision, it's like. <clears throat> if in the street someone was uh, talking not very nice way about you know Hare Krishna and then a little blasphemous, I would not go and beat them because it is. But if they came into the temple here and they tried to touch deity, or no, we should not allow. Then, then, then I would discriminate. This is Krishna in mm. deity form, yeah. but in name form, I will not beat them, but if they come here, I will beat them. No, we, my... we, we won't allow. Yes, we will beat them. But is that, but I, is that, <laughs> but I am discriminating that 
Krishna is home there, and Krishna is not a proper person, he is an atheist, he is a demon. He cannot understand it, he cannot see it. As for example, we say, Dekhya na dekhya jane o hokte ra dhano, ulu ko na dekhya jane sujya ra kira na. You understand? Abhakta, non-devotees, they cannot see. They cannot see, they are non-devotees, they are all the statues, the idols. Made of brass or made of stone. They are pass on this. They are pass on this. They have no such vision. They cannot. We want Allah. As you say, I should beat him. Get out here. Rascal, pass on this. Fearless man. As for example, you see, listen to me. Sun is giving his bright sunshine everywhere. Can an owl see it? Owl, owl. No. He is there in a dark place, in some hole, in the tree, you see. Owl cannot see it. Those sun signs, similar to the pass on this, the taste. Dr. Krishna is there in the deep form. Dr. Krishna is there in his name form. They cannot see. They are like owls. You understand? Only devotees. Only devotees. They are devotees. They are very fortunate. They can see. Do you understand? Yes. They are pass on this. They are atheists. Sir, I am, I am discriminating. Because if they are being offensive to the holy name... Yeah, they are offended. they are uttering the holy name, even if they say blasphemous afterwards, the devotees are rascal, you know... Ah, that, that is quite natural. You see, that's quite natural with atheists and demons. They do it. No, 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 no. They are committing offense. They are committing offense. They are offenders. But am I, from my vision, am I, I see differently. That's what I'm saying. I, I you see differently? <laughs> what do you see? Because I'm not being there. But if I see anything, then I will be there. No. If you are really, if you are really devotee, you if you have really God. developed Krishna Prem, really see Krishna, you should beat him. Should allow a demon to enter. No, get out, demon, from here. Yes, definitely. But even when they are offensive to the holy name, <laughs> what is that? He doesn't know what is holy name. But he doesn't know what is deity either. He cannot understand it, Baba. As an owl cannot see. As an owl cannot see some sign. Those some signs, owl cannot see. Similarly, they cannot understand it. They can see their pass on this. No. Yes. On, if he offends the holy name, it's a vocal offence, so you can answer back vocally. If he attempts, attempts to hit the deity, it is a corporal offence, so you have to deal with it corporally. As the offence, so you must deal with it. Yes, you are a devotee, so depend. Get out! You should not allow this. No. We cannot tolerate this. It's terribly intolerable on our part. You understand? We cannot. Devotees cannot tolerate this. And the risk of life will depend. Get out of here. Thereby Krishna will be very pleased. As Hanumanji burnt Lanka to assess a vendor, Ravana. <laughs> Ram, Lord Rama is so much pleased. And Hanumanji is great sad. You understand? Krishna is very much pleased. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> 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 I don't know what's going on.